This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Party Dance Time. We got two comet asterisks coming in high and tight. Right by Earth. How tight? You might ask. The closest comet in 246 years approaches. And when they say approaches, they mean approaches Earth, approaches us, approaches you. Am I trying to say this is doomy? Hell no. Heck no, Johnny. I'm not. I was trying to tell you, comets are like dirty duck cat snow dragons that are crazy and schizophrenic, but mostly harmless. And they're a giant dirty snowball flaming in the sky. And they cry a lot, which causes a giant coma and tail to form in the celestial heavens. And when special comets come around, the sun starts acting weird, popping off coronal mass ejections for you and me. A pair of comets showing very similar orbits are approaching Earth. Oh yeah, this story has multiple levels. Are you ready for multiple levels? We'll get a lot of experience points, and it always feels good to level up. So let's go. This story is fascinating on several layers. It's a multi-storied story. It's like a story within a story. I got a ding and a train. So let this celestial tall tale begin. A pair of comets showing very similar orbits are approaching Earth. I must be in trouble or something. I wonder why it smells so bad. Because I'm in the doghouse. What I do to get in the doghouse? Probably a lot of shit. I guess my mouth gets me in trouble a lot. Imagine that. While both pass at a safe distance, one of them will have a record-breaking close flyby. All right, this article's by Eddie Zary. His name rhymes with fairy. Comets are kind of like fairies. They're sparkly and light on their feet. Though, other than his name rhyming with fairy, Eddie Irizarry doesn't seem to be like one. Two close comets, P-2016, badass 14. Because it'll be far from the sun, comet P-2016, BA-14, will likely be very dim. But advanced amateur astronomers might still capture the celestial visitor. This illustration shows the position of the comet shortly after sunset on March 22nd, 2016. It's an illustration. It's not a real photograph, people. Okay. Astronomy can never have too many good memes, ma'am. Update March 4th. A pair of comets showing very similar orbits are approaching Earth, and astronomers will use radio telescopes to obtain radar images. While advanced amateurs... Whoa. Wait, do I gotta get a merit badge to be an advanced amateur? I could do that. I could get a merit badge. I mean, what do I gotta do? If it's quit acting like a dumbass some of the time? I don't know. I could do it, but I don't know if a merit badge would be worth it. Especially just for an advanced amateur astronomer. Hey, so basically, semi-professional scientists may take pictures of it. That is fantastic news on this record-breaking close flyby. Though, I don't think it's too bright. I hadn't seen no pictures on spaceweather.com yet of it. Okay, that's not good news. About astronomy, of course. When is an asteroid not an asteroid? When it's fake? When it's a hoax? When it's just a data point and not a piece of matter? Or... When it's an alien craft. When it's a tiny planet. When it's a space brick. When it's a tiny planet. When it's a winner winner chicken dinner. When it's a chunk of a comet. Bob, feel play. All right. We're being bad over the bad astronomy. If you think of them at all, you probably think of asteroids and comets as two distinct classes of objects. Asteroids are rocky and are metallic, while comets are more icy and have fuzzy heads and long tails. But nature isn't so picky. Sometimes, Lines get blurred. On January 22nd, a small asteroid was seen in observations made by the Pan-STARRS Survey Telescope. The scope sweeps the sky every night, looking for, among other things, tiny specks of light that move among the background stars. Hold on a second, crap. Maybe Sage is being attacked by ninjas and, uh, is in trouble. So yeah, we got two asteroids and comets that are brothers or sisters or binary buddies, companions. And, uh, they're coming close by in the middle of March. So I'm letting you know now. I'll get back to this story. Sage can be a deep shit. Okay? I gotta go. Peace out. Okay. Jeez Louise. I hope she's not breaking up with me. I would at least walk into the room to do that. Thor News presents Common Ison is alive. Common Ison is dead. Common Ison is alive. Common Ison is undead. What is the deal, man?